actually looked at a number of theaters throughout Washington, D.C. and chose the, the Shakespeare Theater was the perfect uh, venue to be hosting the Daily Show for their midterm coverage. So it was great. We were all excited and hoping it would happen. All right, but now they have a well-worn reputation as uh, juvenile and sophomore type humor. What child proofing did you do throughout the theater? <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we just let them come in. They've taken over the building. We I'm here with Willie. Willie is from Ohio, a swing state. And Willie's been camping out with the other horses outside the Daily Show Theater all week. So, Willie, you must be a big fan of Jon Stewart. Hi, yeah. Uh, now, do you think you'll be at the rally on Saturday? That looked like a yes. It was a yes. Which makes you more sad? That John Stewart is married to somebody else, or that unemployment is at 9.6 percent. Unemployment. Are you going to be excited when you finally get inside to see the horse show? <laughs> I'm not here to see the horse show. Oh, right. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're confident. You know the difference between John Stewart and a horse. Uh, I do believe that I'm confident that I can tell there's John Stewart and a horse. All right. Can you name ten differences? Ten differences. Uh, Are you going to the rally on Saturday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's going to have comedy, but it's also got some politics. Yeah. My feeling is everyone here, they know when the comedy works. <laughs> what, do you think you're going to know when the politics works? What are you going to look for to see that the politics is working? You know, I don't really have any expectation for the rally. I'm just hoping to have a really good time and, you know, whatever. It, I think what's great is that nobody sort of knows what it is, and they're sort of letting the media freak out about what it's going to be and we'll see what it is on Saturday. Yeah, but I'm not sure I'm going to see if there's going to be a political reaction. I think I'm going more for the entertainment factor. Okay. I don't know if they're if they have actual realistic policy changes in mind. Right. Right. The time will tell, but right. that's not what I'm going for. Maybe some of my friends are, but I don't think it's going to go that way. All right. What do you hope to get out of the rally? I honestly don't know what to expect. Uh, I think that I, I just found out it's from 12 to 3. I thought it was like all day. So uh, kind of shorter than I thought. And there's a couple speakers. And I know Jon Stewart's speaking there too, but I really don't know what else you know they're going to be doing. Right. But are you looking for comedy? Are you looking oh, yeah. for, you're oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, but, I, you know, and the politics is, is more of a side interest to me. I think, uh, you know, the reason I'm here is because it's funny, but it's also, I mean, it's also relevant. I guess I'm not sure that there actually will be overt politics because Jon Stewart's always said that he is not a political leader or actually a news person. So I'm not sure what to expect on that. I've noticed everybody back there, they've got tickets. Right. You don't have a ticket. No. So you are basically the standby line. Is that right? I am the front of the standby line. That's correct. Right. So basically, you are the only person in this entire city with any hope. Does that make you feel good or does that make you feel kind of alone? Oh, that makes me feel great. You know, I'm the one. <laughs> Especially if I get in, it makes me feel even better, yes. All right. Well, good luck. I hope you get in. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you It was great. Yep. All right, good luck. Um, I'm looking forward to the elections on Tuesday myself. Um, I think that the Democrats have a stronger chance than the popular media is giving them credit for. I know Organizing for America has done a significant amount of work and getting out the vote, and will be doing that this weekend. Um, I hope, my hope for the rally is that there is some plug about turning out these 60,000 people that they're expecting to go to the polls on Tuesday. So I think that they have an extreme stand, like a political platform that they're standing on, whether or not they acknowledge it because they are comedians on Comedy Central, but I think they have an audience that is listening to them, and I hope that they turn out and say, some point on Saturday, all you people here, you should go home and go vote. Here goes our competition. Turn around. Oh my god. Hi, how are you guys doing? We came down here to interview people, but mostly John Stewart's crowd has been blowing us off. But they're showing plenty of love for the teddy bear back there. You're down here interviewing people. Yes. What's the deal with the suit? Well, Stephen Colbert says that bears are the greatest threat to America. We strongly disagree. The greatest threat to America is the same young voter. And so we're out here to tell people to be the threat and to vote on November 2nd after we coalesce as a rally for sanity and fear this weekend. So you're coming in as a bear to 
make people unafraid of bears. Exactly, because we're really not as scary as young voters. They're the largest voting demographic. They're going to continue to grow. And people are speculating that young people aren't going to vote this November 2nd. We're out here to say, you will, you will scare Stephen Colbert a whole lot more if you go out there and you vote, because he clearly is, is you know, he's BFF with uh, Bill O'Reilly, Papa Bear. Okay, now, last thing. I've been trying to get this crowd to talk to me. They... They're like eating you up in here. They love you. You're talking to everybody. Can you put in a good word for us? Yeah, absolutely. What would you like me to tell them? Just tell them to talk to us. Okay. I mean, we're not, we're not offensive anymore. Yeah, You're not last in line? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, is he, is he, he's last in line. He's a contender. All right, we'll see. I just I want to talk to somebody to find out what it feels like to be last in line. Hi. We're Public Access TV. Um, are you willing to talk to us? Okay. All right, you keep looking. Don't don't look at me. Just keep looking. Oh no, you're not last in line anymore. Oh, you're here. Okay. Okay. Real quick. Sure. We'll be back to this um, in a moment. Hopefully, they'll still be the last people in line. Okay. Obviously, Stuart. He's here tonight. But Saturday, are you going to be Stuart or Colbert? Which side are you going to sit on? Stuart. Stuart, but I think it's two and one. Okay, but they're, they're joined. <laughs> they're joined, but uh, but in your heart you're with Stuart. I'm with Stuart in my heart. Okay. It's not really a judgment call, but I kind of feel like he's the headliner, and Stephen Colbert is a little bit more like you know the warm up. You know. I was gonna go with second banana, but warm up. Okay, he's the warm up. All right. Well, okay, second banana. I mean, you know, it's like they merge the rallies as one. No, you know, disrespect meant right. to Stephen Colbert. He's great. I love him, but. You know, I think John Stewart kind of got the ball rolling with the rally, so to speak. And so, you know. And where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. Well, that's I'm from say. Connecticut. Where? Uh, Brantford, New Haven. Fairfield is where I grew up. Fairfield. I know, I don't like it either. Well, listen, I had, I had my car broken into once in Fairfield. Uh-huh. So. Oh, I, I got mugged in D.C. at gunpoint. All right, you beat me. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. You're last in line. How's it feel? Are we? Are we last in line? La you are last Right line. now, but if this interview goes on long enough, well, there I'm might be like, somebody I'll, 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 else. I'll, I'll, you're right, you're right. No, you're right. All right, let me let me talk to this guy. Okay, all right, let's talk to him. We're going to go back here. All right. What's your name? Javi. Javi? That's right. Michael Shea. Michael Shea. All right, man. Yeah. You're last in line. That's right. Have you seen the line? I have, yeah. You are last. I know, I know. I don't feel very good about it, but let's see. What happened? It's just, was it the last minute thing? I, I, no, it's certainly not a last minute thing. I just expected people to be slacking off, but that's definitely not going to happen for John Stewart. So. Okay. Are you sure this is the right audience? Because you're right. I would expect them to slack off too. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right. But, uh, oh, no, wait, no, wait. I'm sorry. You're not last in line anymore. I know. So these All guys right. are. All right, we'll check in with you later, okay? All right, have a good show. Yes. All right. Congratulations. Now you're in line, not just like standby out there by yourself. How does it feel? You're that much closer. Oh, great, 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 because, you know, like you said, I'm now in the in the red ropes and somebody closed this red rope off behind me, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We've got our fingers crossed for you, too. All right, good luck and enjoy the show. Thank you very much. Appreciate right. it. Anyone feel like interviewing? No? Anybody? All right. If you want to borrow the bear head later, I can hear well, you know, the funny thing is, I, I have a, I have like a bear head at home. Oh, you should have brought it. I didn't know. I didn't think. I didn't know. So that would have been a bit awkward, though. Yeah, a little bit, because we'd be competing. <laughs> the line is moving. The light is moving. Are they going in? No, I think they all just got thinner because they've been out here too long. Everyone lost about five pounds from the, the heat, and the line just compressed. Uh. Okay, we have a problem. We have a problem. The end of the line is over there now, so we have to uh, move. Okay. Almost last in line. <laughs> How does that feel? Feels like dedication. Have you, have you seen this line? I have. It's humongous. Okay, what do you think the chance are you're going to get in tonight? Well, I'm hoping my friend is saving me a ticket, so I'm putting in a 50% right now. You know, I'm, I'm like an older guy, yeah. and it's always great when I see such naive <laughs> hope in today's youth. It's very inspiring, but I don't think you got a shot, man. You, you got to hold out hope. Yeah, you gotta hold out. How late were you? Yeah. How late were you? Uh, pretty late. I'm about an hour and a half, two hours late. I'd okay. Say. All right. <laughs> How long have you known this friend? 
I've known him for about five years now. I think you're out of the limit. <laughs> guy's gonna hold. If a guy's gonna hold ticket for you for two hours, you gotta know him at least ten years. I think. That's true. That's a good point. We'll see how dedicated he is. Yeah. <laughs> I actually was coming to see the horse show, and I just happened to notice that he's here. John Stewart is here for the Daily Show, and I know that he has a rally coming up on Saturday, so it would be nice to be able to get in. Okay. So you got some standby. You've asked. Um, actually, they said I believe you can go online. I oh, so like online. tomorrow or Thursday? Right? Yeah, he's here until Thursday. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, how'd you like the horse show? I guess the horse show was nice. The horse show was nice. By any chance, when you were in the horse show, did you see Willie? Yes, Willie. You're dead last, but you're in the VIP line. That's right. How does yeah. it feel to be dead last? It looked, it's feeling better every step. <laughs> how, how late were you? Uh, I'm actually early. I've got uh, 20 minutes until the deadline to get here. All right, Paul Harris, early, but still last in line. I'm loving it. All right, Thanks. Thanks. Hey, things could get exciting real quick. We just got a tip if we go up to the front door by the VIP entrance. All we got to do is say we're a friend of John. We can stroll right in. So let's see if it works. Come on. Hey, uh, hey, uh, this is the VIP entrance, right? Listen, I was told all I had to do was say I'm a friend of John, and I'm in. No? Ah! Mm -hmm. What do you hope to get out of the rally? What do you, who do you hope to see speak? What comedy? You know, what's your, what's your, what's your hopes here? Well, my biggest hope, like my, my ultimate Zen moment, would be once Bruce Springsteen hits the stage. And what are you hoping to ha get out of the rally? What's your, like your, your biggest hope? Well, I think he's working towards the one nation working together, the same kind of atmosphere going on, uh, rallying for the president, rallying to support America, rallying for you know pro of a democracy, the democracy working for all people. So that's what it is, freedom of speech. Uh, just having a good time, really. And I think, you know, sending the message that people can disagree and not everybody's Hitler. I actually heard, like, I've heard some pretty cool things. Like, I heard that there's a triple-decker bus that's coming from San Francisco. I don't know if you've heard of a musician, his name is Michael Franti. He's this awesome musician, Michael Franti and Spearhead. And I heard that he's going to be the musical entertainment on the bus and they're going to be driving from San Francisco to D.C. for the rally. And that blows my mind. I, I have never so heard of a triple-decker bus. I know, I know How do they either. make triple-decker buses? I don't know. Maybe they just have a double-decker and they like add something to the top. I think we're close to shutting down uh, and taking it up another day. It's been a good battle. We've uh, tried the stage door. We've tried the front door. And uh, we've been turned away by the cold-hearted Comedy Central uh, corporate goons. Actually, that's not true. They've all been very polite, really. Good, good. I think I can. I made it. All right, great for you. All right. Well, we don't As you can see, the line is empty. So our friend Isabel, she got in to see the show. Yes. Signing out from the Sydney Herman Hall. This is Arlington Independent Media. All right. Okay, it's not as much fun. You know, hot next Friday. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We can use this interview however we want.